Okay, so today we're going to talk about more proofs, and specifically we're going to use the definition of bisect to prove things. So first you have to remember what bisect means. So if you bisect something, you split it into two congruent parts. So if I said point D bisects, well not point D, if I said line CD, say it was this line right here, bisects this line AB, that means that AB, or say at point M, AM is congruent to MB. Now that works for lines as well as angles. So if I said that this ray, ray C, if ray BC bisects this angle, that means that angle ABC is going to be congruent to angle CBD. So using that information, we're going to do some proofs. So, given that a IE bisects KEV and that IE bisects K angle KIV, prove that KE is congruent to VE and KR, or excuse me, KI is congruent to VI. Okay, so first we're going to write down our given. IE bisects angle KEV and angle KIV. And that's given. Okay, so what I just said, remember, was when you, when an angle, whenever, excuse me, when a segment bisects an angle, it splits it into two congruent parts. So if this line bisects this angle, that means that this angle is congruent to this angle. So angle E, sorry, angle NEK is congruent to angle NEV. And so we can do the same thing down here. Because if this bisects this angle, that means this angle is congruent to this angle. So angle NIK is congruent to angle NIV. So if bisect an angle split into two congruent angles. So next, so we have these two, we have two pairs of congruent angles and we're trying to prove that this is congruent to this and this is congruent to this. So the best way to prove that is to make these, tri to prove that these triangles are congruent. And if you look, we have an angle, a shared side right here, which is congruent to itself, and another angle. So the best way to do that is say that triangle EKI is congruent to triangle EVI. And, oh, I'm sorry, I almost forgot a step. First, I'm just going to insert this right here. This will be 2.5. First, we have to say that EI is congruent to EI, and that's reflexive property. And now we can say that the triangles are congruent by angle side angle. And now that must mean that KE is congruent to VE and KI is congruent to VI because if triangles are congruent, then the corresponding parts are also congruent. So that's all we're going to do today with um, proving things. 
using the definition of bisect, but make sure you come back and watch the next video because in that video we're going to talk about using the definition of bisect to prove that lines are perpendicular. So make sure you come and check that out.